Hey, I'm Emily with the Flutter team to tell you about the latest goodies in Flutter 1.9. As you know, in Flutter, everything is a widget. And in this release, we have more built-in widgets. I'll highlight a couple new ones. The selectable text widget allows you to make any display text in your app selectable for copying. The color filter widget allows you to apply a filter to any widget so they can change its colors. May I suggest you use your newfound powers for good rather than whatever I just did there? In the Cupertino library, we updated our switches and scroll bar drag behavior to be consistent with the iOS 13 style updates. Flutter 1.9 also includes some important additions to ensure your development experience is seamless on Catalina, the newest version of macOS. If possible, we strongly recommend upgrading your Flutter installation first, then updating Catalina so that Flutter can work smoothly with your upgraded operating system. Who wants to spend more time debugging? Uh, nobody. The Flutter user experience team did a lot of really cool research on how to structure error messages to help programmers fix their problems faster. And now their findings are available to everyone. To try out this new error message format, turn on the show structured errors for Flutter framework issues option on IntelliJ or in your studio, or the Dart preview Flutter structured errors setting in VS Code. The 1.9 release includes language support for 24 more locales, including Nepali, Afrikaans, Icelandic, and Bengali Bangla, which puts our language support on par with our friends over on Android. Whether you're developing your app with the Cupertino or the Material Library, or both, you can be confident you'll have consistent support for the same locales. Dart 2.5 is included in this latest Flutter release, and it contains a preview of the new Dart foreign function interface, which allows you to call C code from Dart. For Flutter users, this means that when efficiency is important, for example, when connecting to a native database, you can directly call that C code rather than connecting to the native plugin code, which then calls the C code, cutting out layers of indirection for the win. Just a reminder, this functionality is in preview and there may be some minor syntactic changes before the final release. Speaking of previews, do you remember how we introduced Flutter for Web at Google I.O.? If you'd like to live slightly dangerously and work on the Flutter dev channel, the previously branched Flutter web repository has been merged into the main Flutter repository, and we have better support on our development toolchain. This means your Flutter web projects can now use all the normal Flutter imports you would expect. No more special casing is needed when developing for the web. This is just a super quick summary of some of the new features coming in Flutter 1.9. If you're brand new to Flutter, go to flutter.dev to try out Flutter yourself. If you already have it, type Flutter upgrade on the command line to update and you will be ready to rock.